as in everything in life, it all comes back to the numbers. If you hand load your own after a while, you're going to have to do a little math. But don't worry, it's very simple. So simple that even a caveman can do it. I am not a tattoo guy. Anyway, let's face it. Is it really as cool as it used to be now that women and grannies are getting inked? Oh, and uh, no disrespect to our tattooed viewers. You guys are the exception, of course. But if I were to get a tattoo, this would be it. One pound equals 7,000 grains. I would put that on one of my forearms and one ounce equals 437 and a half grains. I'd put that on my other forearm. One pound equals 7,000 grains works for both metallic and shot shell loading. That comes in very handy. And the one ounce equals 437 and a half grains works very, very well with shotgun loading. Those two measurements are all you need to know to accurately and safely roll your own. Let's get into some examples. Say you have a pound of powder and you're loading 17 grains of said powder in a 12 gauge load. 7,000 divided by 17 grains equals 411 rounds, which can be loaded with that one pound of powder. This works with metallic reloading also. Now, say you have 50 pounds of lead ingots you casted and you want an estimate as the amount of bullets for your 44 mag that you can cast so you can buy enough powder and primers. Take the 50 pounds times it by the 7,000 grains equals 350,000 grains. Now divide that by the weight of your bullet. In this case, the 240 grainers. That comes out to 1458. So now you know you'll need enough powder and primers for 1,458 rounds, approximately. See how simple it is? Now, let's go back to the one ounce. So, one ounce equals 437 and a half grains. Say you're loading a 5 8 ounce in your 20 gauge, like we were doing in our current series of, hey, how many times can you load that 20 gauge load? and you've got 250 hulls to fill. How many pounds a shot are you gonna need? First off, we've gotta convert our fractions to decimals. Take the 5 eighths and divide five into eight. In this case, it gives you a 0.625. Now, take the 437 and a half grains, which is what is in one ounce of shot, and multiply 437.5 times 0.625 that gives you 273 grains of shot per hull. Now you take the 273 grains times it by the number of hulls you have to fill in this example 250. This will give you 68,250 grains. Now divide that by 7,000. Now remember 7,000 is the grains in a pound. That'll come out to roughly nine and three quarter pounds or about 10 pounds a shot if you go for wastage this is approximate of course do the math for how much powder you need as we demonstrated earlier and voila you have your shopping list complete let's go on to loading a shot shell that's greater than one ounce of shot say we're going to load one and one eighth ounce and we've got 250 hulls to load Remember, one ounce is 437 and a half grains. We're trying to figure out how much shot we need for our 250 hulls. First off, convert the one eighth to decimal. One divided by eight equals 0.125. Now you're gonna take your 437 and a half grains times 1.125, and that'll give you 492 grains of shot. Take that figure and times it by 250. For the amount of holes we're going to fill. That'll give you 123,000 grains. Divide that by 7,000, which is the amount of grains in a pound, and that'll give you 17 and a half pounds, approximately. You're looking at 18 pounds a shot. Very simple. Hopefully, our brief math lesson has enlightened you to explore even more of this fascinating world of shooting sports with a little bit of adding, subtraction, division, multiplication, 
You too can load accurate rounds tailored for your specific needs and help you be free from the constraints of your local retailer. With a little forethought and planning, you will be prepared for whatever lies ahead. Questions, comments, or concerns? List them below. Until next time.